So guys, this is one of the airplanes that you requested for me to review, and here I'm sitting with the CEO. Now, uh, initially when you introduced the Sunflyer, it was the two-seater, and you said you were targeting basically the, the trainer or the training market, so to speak. And uh, I, I went on your website, I remember I was excited about the class, and I also saw that you were planning on bringing out a four-seater, perhaps for people who are post-trained and want to use it for the best country uh, airplane. Now the main question is, when, when do you expect certification? Right. So, when you design an airplane, you go through the process of what's called conceptual design, okay. and then you conform the design to a production shape and performance, and the FAA certification process takes the conformed design and you go through step by step qualifying it and getting it ready for production. That takes about two years. So that process with the FAA is underway right now. All of the excitement, all the capability of electric uh, will be realized in production about two years. Two years. So we expect two years and two years time this will be being the customer. That's right. In two years time guys. So now in terms of price, uh, I saw that I'm not gonna put out any numbers, I'll let you speak on the numbers. I saw some of the numbers on your site, so I believe the, the two seater is expected to be around two fifty. Two two eighty nine. Two eighty nine. Two eighty nine for the, the two seater. The four seater is three eighty nine. Okay. Still great value because yeah. when you think of the older uh, gasoline uh, aircraft you know, and, assessments, and those guys cost or so. Oh, easily, yeah. right. So you you think about how much fuel you need to fly a Cessna. Right. So it's you know usually eight, eight maybe nine, nine some, sometimes right. ten gallons it's per about hour. Eight, eight to ten gallons. Easy. Yeah. 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 So depending on where you live, you know that could be forty dollars a fuel or forty five or fifty dollars depending on where you live. For for electric, it's about three dollars of electricity per flight hour. So instead of fifty dollars of gas, it's three dollars of electricity for that same hour of flight. So what do you expect in terms of maintaining this aircraft, specifically the motor, uh, and the fact that it's not uh, probably for for customers they probably have to come to you directly. They can't go to like their normal. So, the first thing is, electric motors just don't break. There's one moving part. Basically, it's bearings and magnets, one moving part. So, the, then they don't bri vibrate, um, they don't require oil or fuel. Uh, you can go from 946 moving parts to one moving part conventional engine to an electric motor. So the nature of the airplane from the outset is simplicity and, and of course great efficiency. Uh, Siemens is our motor provider from Germany. They get a great reputation for making excellent electric motors. If something should go wrong, uh, it's a very quick turnaround with a great company that will take super care of our customers. But um, fundamentally, the, the, the kind of customer experience to begin with is based on a product that is very, very simple mechanically and therefore it doesn't have the traditional kind of, uh, you know, new product issues that will that, come up. Right. So, I know I said that's the last one. The follow-up on that is with the maintenance and the fact that it's simple. And so, do you expect, for example, insurance to be lower or, or just the maintenance costs in general to be lower as compared to uh, a gas engine or a regular mechanical engine? Right. So, from a from a maintenance perspective, the the operating costs, of course, are fuel and maintenance reserves, annual reserve, etc. Those are all much much less uh, compared to a conventional airplane. Insurance is based on several things. 
the value of the airplane and the number of people it carries. So actually insurance will probably be roughly equivalent to a Diamond DA-20 or a Cessna 152 or, or a typical two-seat airplane carrying two people. And of course the hull value with a with new airplane. But, but no, no real uh, significant difference in, in insurance. Well, there you have it, guys. I've answered, hopefully he's answered all the questions that you had. If you have any more, just leave in the comments below. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming by.